What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my friends, subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, sports, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for sign of Scorpio. This is hashtag glow up. This is the positive aspect. Positive series. Truth Hidden is a negative series on my channel. This is a positive series focusing on growth, healing, prosperity, um, positive aspects in one's life. Um, this can resonate if you have Scorpio in any aspect of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, Manhattan, energy of your chart. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Only, um, um, only take the messages that resonate. Everybody has free will. So, it's very, you know, one message may apply. Two may apply. Two plus may apply. Only you know your story, not anybody else. So, you have to plug the messages in your own personal situation, how they apply. If they do apply, please, please do not force anything that doesn't fit. Um, that's very important. It's a free general collective reading, okay? We have the we have peace, the path, attachment, cornucopia. I heard about to take off is the channel message I received as I was meditating on your hashtag glow up energy. About to take off. So... This could be you or somebody you're connected to, but um, I feel for a lot of you guys, it's you about to take off in some shape, form, or fashion. Now, I feel that could be physical, like in a plane about to take off, or maybe a business is about to take off, or you're about to take off work, like PTO time and go on a vacation, um, or somebody you're connected to is about to take off and go on a vacation, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But some kind of about to take off energy, I feel... Like I said, I feel for a majority of you guys, it's like plane, train, automobile, physical, taking off and in, in um, transport device for some. For some, um, I'm feeling a business or businesses may take off in a positive way. Either you or somebody you're connected to, but I feel for a majority of you guys, it's you. You plug it in, how it resonates, Scorpio. That's that's beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay, so number 28, 8, 5, or 11 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 28, 8, 5, or 11, it could be possible ages of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. 28, 28, 8, 5, or 11, peace. A particular Scorpio has had a lot of chaos in their life. A lot. Especially one one particular Scorpio, especially the past four years, but it's because of the situations and people you have allowed around your life. However, you're making huge changes now, and it's benefiting you in a huge way. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. For, so for at least for one of you guys, you, um, I heard specifically over the last four years. Over the last four years, you've had a lot of chaos and conflict and craziness in your life, basically, if that resonates for you. But I heard it's because of the situations you have basically allowed yourself around or been a part of or what have you, um, and the people or person you have allowed around your life. I feel for some, it's probably lover energy or third party or situationship energy or some crazy shit like that. Or maybe for some you got involved in criminal behavior or behaviors. I'm not sure. But however that resonates um, and applies in one's life, whether it's the last four years you've experienced chaos and craziness or not, um, it sounds like you're letting go of toxicity of person, people, place, or situations, and um, you're about to experience peace. So peace in your life, peace in yourself, um, peace in the decisions you make um, is what I'm feeling here for um, some of you guys. You plug it in how it resonates, but peaceful energy coming for at least one of you guys, whether you have been the one that has had chaos and conflict over the last four years or not. For some, it could have been, you know, a, a year of chaos and conflict. For some, it could have been six months. For some, it could have been 40 years. But for at least one of you guys specifically, it was uh, four years, uh, the last four years. You plug it in how it resonates, but peace coming, but it's because you're about to make um, changes in your own life to bring the peace, um, or you already have started making changes to bring the peace. However, that resonates. That's beautiful. I love peace energy. I love it. I love it. The path. A 
about to choose the path that's correct for you with no manipulation and games this time. Okay, so you plug in and how it resonates. I heard about to choose the path that's right for you. No manipulation and games this time. So um, you, I feel somebody had played with you in the past, if that particular message applies for you. I feel somebody played with you in the past. They manipulated you or manipulated a situation. Um, for some, you could have been the manipulator. Um, but I feel for a majority of you guys, somebody manipulated you in a situation. But you plug it in how it resonates. But however that resonates, whether, whether you were the manipulator or you were manipulated, you're, it's like you're waking up. You're waking up to the manipulation and the games, and you're basically, uh, you're using your own head, logic, reasoning, and intuition, and you are choosing your own path, your own path that's going to bring you peace that's best for you. And that's really beautiful. It's really beautiful for some. I feel this could involve big decisions because the path energy also could be decision like two of swords energy. Uh, so for some, I feel it could be uh, big decisions here, but I feel they're going to um, be positive big decisions. Now, whatever, if it is big decisions in your life, whatever they are and how they apply in your life, they're Scorpio. But um, that's really beautiful. It's really beautiful how that resonates and applies in one's life. I feel for some, the big decisions is going to lead to um, like life altering positive um, movement here. And I'm serious. Like you see the depiction of this female at the bottom really staring at this ladder with the portal energy. Um, I feel for some, that's kind of how you're feeling or has felt. Like you've just been um, staring and contemplating and meditating on what the hell you should do or want to do to get yourself up the ladder to your big path energy here. Whatever the big path is, whatever the decision or decisions are to make your life better and more healthy and copacetic is what I'm feeling. Attachment. Flowers are about to become very significant in a Scorpio's life. A heartfelt letter, handwritten, is about to become very significant in a Scorpio's life. Oh my God, that's beautiful. So you plug it in how it resonates. So some kind of flowers energy, um, whether you're sending these flowers to person, people, place, or situation, Scorpio, or they're sending them to you because energy is coming first. So some kind of flowers energy sounds like it's about to become significant in your life, whether you're getting sent these flowers or you were sending these flowers. You plug it in how it resonates. For some of you guys, for some, a handwritten letter, heartfelt handwritten letter is about to become very significant in a Scorpio's life as well. Now, whether you're writing this heartfelt handwritten letter and delivering it to person, people, place, or situation, or somebody is writing this heartfelt handwritten letter and delivering it to you. However, that applies in one's life. That's really beautiful. Wow. Okay, I was waiting to see if I heard anything else. Attachment. Big wig energy has really been spying very heavily on a Scorpio. They want to know how you do what you do. It would not be smart to give these people your ideas and your secrets. Know this. Oh, my Lord. Whoa. So you plug it in how it resonates. Oh, my God, Scorpio. That's a good one, though. That's a good one. Um, so, of course, you can choose to listen to the spiritual downloads or not. But um, that's, that's a big one. 
So for some of you guys, um, or at least one of you guys, I heard big wig energy. So I'm feeling corporate entity energy, like big high corporate chain, people in corporate chain or corporate entity or entities energy has been spying on you. I heard they've been spying on you. Um, I heard they want to know how you do what you do. They basically want your secret or secrets, but I heard it would not be smart to give it to them. So they're attached to you because they want, they want your secret for some, one of you guys, you guys, you have done something or you're doing something that is huge. That is huge. So much so you have got corporate people spying on your ass, trying to figure out what, how you do what you do. I hope for some, this is not hidden camera energy. We have attachment energy for, so for some, I hope to God they don't have a hidden camera in your home or your dwelling or your space or your vehicle or a tractor or something. I didn't hear any of that. If you feel that might resonate with you, you might want to do a sweep and make sure you don't. But they are spying on you in some shape, form, or fashion. How are they spying? Maybe they got your phone tapped. Maybe they are hacking your electronics. I'm not sure. I didn't hear any of that. But they are spying in some shape, form, or fashion. This corporate entity or entities are big, weak energy. I heard big, weak energy. So I automatically think corporate ent entity or entities energy. But it could be anybody that's a big wig in society or the world or what have you. They are spying on you in some shape, form, or fashion. They want to know how you do what you do. Whatever you're doing, it's very successful. I'll tell you that. It's great, but it's so great. They want it for themselves. They want to steal your idea or ideas. I don't feel they want to pay you for it or pay you properly for it. Um, I feel some one of you guys might have a hidden camera or a, um, or a tracker device or a... Um, um, what, phone tapping or something of that nature. Um, I'm not trying to scare anybody or make anybody paranoid, but if you feel that resonates with you, I would just check my devices, check my home, just in case. I mean, of course, you can take the advice or leave it, but you've got huge ass money people, big wig money people. I mean, I feel big money here, big money energy spying on you. So, just be careful, be careful. You are successful. You are um or becoming successful. Um they want they want to steal your ideas. I don't feel they want to pay you properly for them. They want you to give them what they want without them properly paying for it. Or um that's exactly what I feel. They want to take it from you. So just be careful. Attachment energy in this aspect is the um big wig S type energy, whether it's corporate entity energy or entities energy or not it could just be somebody high up and fluid in the community or world somehow they're spying and they've got attachment to you so you plug it in how it resonates and one scorpio is really going to gain attachment to another person emotional attachment but it will not be unhealthy if you don't make it unhealthy there needs to be lots of communication there and lots of interaction in a positive, copacetic manner. But intuitively, you know this. Okay, so, well, that's a good one, too. So, you plug it in how it resonates. And that could be the path energy, too. Um, one of you guys is about to get emotionally attached, it sounds like, to somebody. Now, it could be a masculine or feminine energy. I've been pulling in a fem energy in Scorpio's readings a lot lately. Uh, hard energy, emotion energy, feelings energy towards a fem energy. For some, it could be a fem energy. For some, it could be a masculine. And you can be masculine or fem, Scorpio, but you're about to get emotionally attached to somebody else, whether it's masculine or feminine. I feel for a majority of you guys, it's a fem energy, but only you know your story, not anybody else. But in this aspect, it is emotional attachment of you about to get emotionally attached to somebody, whether it's masculine or fem energy. I heard there needs to be a lot of communication there and a lot of um, physical interaction with this person. Um, to keep it healthy and copacetic so it doesn't fall into toxicity. But I heard intuitively you know this. So you're highly intuitive, you're highly, you're highly intelligent, whoever you are, you, you already know this. But um, in this aspect, it sounds like if you keep it healthy and not toxic with this person, masculine or feminine, it will form a healthy attachment, not a toxic, unhealthy attachment. You plug it in, it resonates. And for one Scorpio, there is a particular feminine energy, air sign energy, that has a very, very, very unhealthy attachment towards you. Very toxic attachment. You know this. 
For some, you have broke free of this person. For some, you are breaking free of this person. It will be the best thing that ever happened to you. Intuitively, you know this. Oh, Lord. And for one of you guys, okay, so there's yin and yang here. For one of you guys, you're about to gain a very healthy attachment to a person, masculine or feminine energy. You are Scorpio, it sounds like, coming up. Doesn't sound like it's this other person. It's somebody different. Very healthy, positive, lots of communication, physical interaction, boundary setting, energy, respect, morals, integrity, etc., etc., etc. With this person. For another one of you guys, it could be the same person or a different person. However, this applies and resonates in your life. There is some kind of air sign femme energy that is very toxically att attached to you in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, for some, I feel you know this. You're highly intuitive and you already know this. Um, I heard you know this person's not good for you. Um, for some, you've already broke free of this person. For some, you're in the process of breaking free. So, I mean, my God, I'm feeling like control tactics and manipulation. This person has used control tactics and manipulation and domineering and uh, obsessive energy towards you. Um, they could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Feminine, Hammer, Jupiter charts. If that resonates for you, Scorpio. But unhealthy, toxic attachment this person has towards you. Whoever this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Fem energy is and how they apply in your life. Some you've already broke free of this person. Some you're in the process of breaking free of this person. You plug that person in, how they resonate. Oh, my Lord. Cornucopia. For one Scorpio, emotional abundance is coming. For one Scorpio, monetary abundance is coming. For one Scorpio, both. Wow, that's beautiful, Scorp. So for one of you guys, emotional abundance is coming. For one, financial abundance is coming. For one, both. So, you know, cornucopia can be a plethora of different things. It can be emotional. It can be, um, it can be financial. It can be uh, positive, healthy, copacetic connections you put out in the universe. It's anything positive that you might draw and manifest in your life, basically. Cornucopia is. Whether it's money, whether it's love, whether it's positive connections, etc., etc., etc. One of you guys is about to get emotional fulfillment. Your cornucopia is going to be emotional fulfillment. For one of you guys, it's going to be financial fulfillment. For one, it's going to be both. So you plug it in, how it resonates. That's really beautiful. And somebody needs to be careful of some freaking big wig S type energies super secret spying on your ass and I'm just being serious. A train excursion is about to become very significant in Scorpio's life. A trip to New York City is about to become very significant in Scorpio's life. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Wow. Chinese parade. Holy shit. That, I picked that up in Gemini's reading. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Some kind of Chinese parade energy in New York City. Um, so for one of you guys, a train excursion is about to become very significant in your life. I've always wanted to travel on a train. I just will skirt back a minute for me personally. I've always wanted to travel on a train. I never have. Ever, ever, ever. But that's one on my bucket list. I want to do a um, across the country excursion for me personally it sounds like one of you guys is about to do this too whether it's across the country or just to one location to another but you're about to travel on train and that's really beautiful but i want to um i've never done it it's on my bucket list i want to do it so one of you guys is about to do it that's really beautiful now whether you're traveling across country or to a, one location to another only you know your story not anybody else but a train excursion is about to become significant one of you guys's life but one of you guys, I heard a trip to New York City is about to become very significant. It's a kind of Chinese parade. And like I said, I picked that up in Gemini's reading as well. Both of those are fantastic. I, I want to do both of those. Just saying. I want to do it all, baby. All. I'm all about that kind of shit. Just, just saying. All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices. If you think anyone else would like my videos, please feel free to share my videos very publicly on your social media and word of mouth. Very much appreciate it. Love you guys. Namaste.